830 Thousand. That's how many New York State tenants are currently behind on their rent, according to researchers from the University of Southern California. And now one of the biggest protections to help keep all of those renters in their homes has gone away. People who are worried about the ruling and what it means to them and evictions um, have every right to be worried. It was a beacon of hope for tenants struggling during the pandemic. Over the past eight months, people have been protected by this law. But tonight, a key part of New York State's COVID-19 eviction moratorium has just been blocked by the U.S. Supreme Court. The high court ruled tenants can no longer simply fill out a hardship declaration form to avoid eviction. In its majority opinion, the court wrote, the scheme violates the court's longstanding teaching that ordinarily no man can be a judge in his own case. It's a complete victory. Attorney Randy Mastro argued the case before the Supreme Supreme Court. He represents a group of small landlords here in New York. New York recently reopened in every other respect, except it continued this eviction moratorium law uh, that literally barred the courthouse door to small landlords struggling to survive. Legal aid attorney Ellen Davidson wants renters to know anyone who was protected from eviction after filling out a hardship declaration form is no longer protected. Meaning their cases can move forward. Kathy Hochul responded to the Supreme Court's ruling saying, as New York State's next governor, I look forward to working with the legislature to quickly address the Supreme Court's decision and strengthen the eviction moratorium legislation. But until state law changes, there are other protections. New York's emergency rental assistance program is open to anyone who has experienced financial hardship because of the COVID-19 pandemic. The program covers up to a year of back rent. While you are in the application process, your landlord cannot move forward uh, with the uh, with an eviction. Renters also have protection from the National Evictions Moratorium established by the Centers for Disease Control. That moratorium doesn't prevent a renter from having to go to court, but it does provide a legal defense. The CDC moratorium is set to expire on October 3rd.